Welcome to the first CSGO trick sent by you series where I show off tips and tricks that you guys sent to me. If your tricks become a part of the meta in the CSGO pro scene, you're eligible to win a prize from me. You can submit your tricks in my discord for your shot to be in my next video. And now let's start the video. As you saw you can throw a molly on this wall that will mess up the CT smoke from landing. Fast way to Molotov balcony, get behind the barrel, aim between these two things here where there's a gap, then run throw bind. If you want to throw the apartment lurk smoke from porch, stand in this corner, aim bottom left of the A, then jump throw. Just be careful with any lineup from porch because you're out in the open when throwing it. Here's a deep mid smoke from library that you could throw at the start of the round to apply some pressure onto the T's. Aim bottom right of the letter A on the wood, then jump throw. The smoke will leave no gaps. Silent drop from balcony, aim at the top of this railing, then jump onto your railing, and then run forward and as you hit the wall, hold A and W. Cool little nifty nade set here by standing at this wall. For the moto smoke, aim below this wood, jump throw. As for the mini pit molly, aiming at this part of the wagon, left and right click, jump throw. Lastly, you'll follow it up with the A god flash, aiming at the leaf, then left click throw. You can wallbang A site from under porch, however, this wallbang doesn't reach anyone under cold or the plant. You might get lucky if your opponent is holding an off angle, and it also works the opposite way as well, where you can wallbang short from sight. If you want to molly the bomb plant for pit from apps, just aim at the middle of this railing, then run forward and left click throw. This can definitely win you the round, so keep this in your back pocket. Here's a weird way to stop a B push. You're gonna aim for this dark spot right there from back here. You come out. Dirty smoke. Fall back. As long as you're above these stairs, you have a nice little one way. That's a powerful from here from Coffins. There are five instant mid smokes from CT spawn. I'm not going to show you all five lineups, but we'll link the video down below from Star 1 and if you want to see the other four. Kesaratha throws an alternate deep CT smoke where his back logs, aims here, then jump through. This smoke gives cover from deep CT and you can easily clear boost with it. Some of the tricks in this video are from pros that I didn't include before and I can't really include them in my next video because it's going to be focused on clones, so I decided to throw them in here. Very easy library smoke from Kesaratha. Line yourself with a broom, aim at this part of the roof, then jump throw. The smoke will land perfectly inside library, no gaps. Dexter will smoke right side mid for a rush on T pistol, stand in the corner, aim top left of this window, then jump throw. One tactic you could do on pistol is to wait to see if there's any aggression from the CTs, which is a common setup. Tabson has two flashes for anti-rush, which he throws over the roof when he gets signal that C9 are running it down mid, and his teammates will capitalize on the blind C9 players. Shiro with a safe rifle from the round before has a mid spawn that he's going to use to rush boiler to peak second mid with Nafmi throwing two flashes setting him up. This is a really good setup to put Shiro in a good position to be able to find early frags that put the rifle to use to set up C9 for the eco win. Eternal Fire post plant play two sandbags with Zataris fighting while Waxic hides and baits him. Zataris dies and Waxic hopes that by him dying right next to him, that mouse won't clear sandbags and well, his dreams come true as Waxic goes unchecked and he gets a nice 2k from behind setting his team up for a round win. Complexity smoke coffins and Astralis will get inside the smoke to boost to see over the smoke. However, Blame F misses his shots and gets killed. If you want to smoke jungle from palace when it's smoked off, duck into this wall. You'll aim to the right of these marks on the wall. Stand up and get in front of the wall without moving your mouse, then walk forward and left click throw. Palace one way lurk smoke thrown from underpass, ducking at this archway, aim as shown, then jump throw. This smoke is going to land on top of the bricks and it goes through the wood. Your teammate Palace can lurk out with this smoke. Super easy way to throw the window ledge one way smoke where you aim above this antenna to the wire, then left click throw. Afterwards, you'll want to get onto the ledge and peek to the right of the smoke where you have a one way for top mid. Apartment one way smoke thrown from B site, you'll want to get stuck onto these missiles, turn around, and you see this mark on the wall, aim to the right of it, then left click throw. To use this one way smoke, you'll want to get on top of the dresser, and from here, it's free. Here's another one way smoke for apps, crouch where I ping, aim above this window, then left and right click throw. For this one way smoke you'll want to get into the first window. What's nice about this smoke is that you can get a kill and then fall off safely. 
Nice movement play, rushing mid, jumping into window, and then jumping into the bricks and up into ladder room, surprising the CT. Mirage ramp one way smoke. Stand to the side of default, aim at the middle of the antenna, then left click through. The smoke will land on top of Apex, and then you'll get on top of Ninja, where you have a one way to see the T's coming out ramp, and the T's from ramp won't be able to spot you. You know about the bench smoke that covers you from triple and CT as you come up connector? Here's one that lands on triple that gives you more cover as it blocks off any CTs on top of ticket to spot stairs. However, the CTs can peek under the smoke, but you should have that advantage if that happens. Versus the bench smoke, CTs can see stairs, however, there is less of a gap to see connector. Big smoke top connector and Brokey gets boosted by rain to see over the smoke where he doesn't spot anyone. Pretty cool counter to the top con smoke. You can smoke long A doors from mid at the start of the round by standing in front of this wall, aim above this mark, then jump throw. The smoke lands behind the boost boxes but does cover the door, albeit the smoke does extend a bit, but it gets the job done. Nico back Nate's lower tunnel stand next to the boost on short, he aims at the mark on the wall, then left click throw. This nade is intended for anyone near the lower tunnel entrance and it does some damage to two of the Entropic players. Thanks to Bird for sharing this clip with me. There are 5 instant B door rush smokes and I showed one lineup in a previous video. Make sure to check out the video on my channel which I'll link below in the description which you can see the rest of the lineups. Mobs tweeted at me with his trick on Twitter where he throws a long A door one way hinge smoke from car. I am not even going to try to replicate this, this is out of my pay scale. Here's a somewhat precise lineup for a one way on long doors. There's a couple ways to line it up. I like to tuck on this wall, aim right there on that wall, and walk forward until I hit the car. You'll notice the blue only lines up with the bottom of the yes, so just a little bit of the white part is showing in the curve. You're going to aim at the left side of this ad symbol to this area of the window. So right here, and regular throw. Smoke. It's going to land on the hinge of this door and give you a one way. Do know that the terrorist can still crouch and peek underneath it, but you should still have the advantage in that fight. If you're retaking B and B door is smoked off and you want a molly big box, get to the end of these bricks here. Aim at the black mark on the wall, then left and right click jump throw. Retake B smoke for window, crouch here, and you will aim at the white dot on the wall, then left click throw. This smoke will give you cover from tunnels, big box, platform, and some site. You'll need support flashes as you're exposed from under window and car. Banana nade smoke bug. For the smoke, get inside this pillar, aim as shown, then left click throw. As for the nade, you'll stand in front of the stairs. So here we go. Put your crosser right about here, then left click throw. The nade will expose the models or whoever's behind the smoke so you can see the outline. 3 A smokes from outside main in the corner, all of them requires that you crouch. For a temple, aim to the right of the top of this brown mark on the leaf, then jump throw. For a CT, aim as shown, jump throw. Lastly, for a donut, you'll aim at the middle gray brick that sticks out, run throw bind. There you have it, 3 A smokes from one position. From inside main, you can nade temple and you can use the nade's explosion to give you 1-2 to two seconds across. With the new temple, this angle here from CT offers is the most common. If you throw a nade, you can see the smoke last actually two to three seconds. You could jump spot banana from cave boosted onto this box, however, you're only going to see the top of banana. You'll initially make sound for the first jump, however, it's silent afterwards. The only issue is that you need cheetah control, otherwise, the most common way is to jiggle peek long from behind the stairs. So guys, I found a cool red smoke that you can throw from slant over on B side of ancient. The way you throw it is you're going to walk up, you're going to see these two different rocks. You're going to aim up with the left side of like the, in the middle with these rocks. You're going to aim, uh, lined up at the bottom of this, of where, uh, against, you know, lined up with the wall, but connect with the bottom of this rock. And you're just going to jump throw. It is pretty cool. If it runs correctly, it's going to pop in the middle and it's going to look like you threw like a one way smoke. Um, Usable for good fakes for red if a team's walking up mid and you, you want to fake having mid control. There are a couple useful mollies for B site ancient. Tuck in this corner here, find this white part of the pillar, go down to this plank of wood, and you get a regular throw. It's going to go to Cubby and it does go all the way in deep. Use the same exact lineup. We go a little farther in. 
And that's gonna go to blind side. There's a pixel safe spot outside the map on the A site below the platform where you could jump off and then you'll get stuck onto the wall. I checked the clip brushes and didn't see anything so be careful using this position to save. Cooper makes a great play as the bomb's gonna explode so he jumps off the map and the round ends before he reaches his death allowing him to save the op. As the reddit user Megaflash said, Mission Impossible 7, save the op starring Cooper coming to a theater near you. Oh my god I lived! No matter how many times the devs try to fix this molly, there seems to always be a new way to throw it. And if you're not familiar with this molly, basically it goes through T mid and then it also spreads down below to B main. Bucket Heaven retakes smoke thrown from inside the corner of credit card while standing, aim to the right of this line, then left click throw. This works out if your teammate that's going towards heaven doesn't have a smoke, you could throw it for them as you go towards main. If you're lower and you want to safely throw a sight flash of smoke, you could spray and make a hole in the door, then get along the wall where you could flash and smoke through the opening. This was done recently by Magis in a pug, and it was also featured in a Nate King trick video two years ago. Short pipe smoke from CT spawn, you're going to stand in this back corner, aim at the top left of this black bar, then jump throw. The smoke is going to land perfectly inside short pipe, leaving no room for the T's to lurk around. Fast and easy way to throw the ROPS overpass a lurk smoke, stand in this corner, use the top left of your smoke and you're going to put it onto this red circle. Then run forward and as you're about to hit the rails, walk a couple steps forward and jump throw. Make sure to submit your tricks and tips in my discord to be a part of my next viewer trick video to possibly be a part of the pro meta and to win a prize. Please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, not out here, peace.